Hello, my name is Fahim. And my name is Farhan. And I'm the Canadian Beaver. Whoa, 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 hey, hey. Hold on a sec. What are you doing in our show? Um, I just don't... Oh, I'm... I'm in Canada too, you know. But beavers have nothing to do with Wilbur Franks, who made the G-suit. We're, we're going to be talking about that. Do you even know about flight? Uh, um, the, 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 let's get him! <laughs> ah! so, anyways, we're going to talk about the G-suit. Who was made by Wilbur Franks? Whoa, Whoa nice G-suit. Uh, that's not a G-suit. That's one of his other adventures he made, which failed. His G-suit was the first workable anti-gravity suit, or flood suit, develop developed by a Canadian team led by yours truly, Wilbur Frank. Your a great man Wilbur Frank was. In 1941, the Frank's flight suit Mark 2.2, or the, the FFS MK 2.2, was the first G-gravity suit used in combat. He co-invented the RCA... RCAF human certifuge, which was used to simulate G forces at high speed to train pilots. Hey, guy! Hey, guys! Hey, nice background too. Also, at high speeds, he used the anti-gravity suit to change to train people at high speeds. Um, Beaver, as you were not here, I already said that part. Uh, can you please get out? No, yeah. you don't have a right to. We're human. You're a, you're a beaver. And you can't talk. Well, you're not supposed to. Um. Uh. Do we do we do we need to get this jet to attack you? Um. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll get back up. Bye guys. Mm, Frank earned his B. A. from. At Victoria College, so at 1924. He tried to make sure the G-suit can protect the heart, the heart, the brain, and other very important parts of the body. Hi guys, once again, he tested his G-suit on pilots at high speeds. Okay, 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 now, okay, I'm gonna literally bring it, bring out the heavy guns. Oh wait, did you guys even know that the background changed? Yes, I noticed. Well, why didn't you even say it? Okay, Beaver, let's, after I take this background off, you're gonna go down. At least I have Obama on my side. What? Um, what happened to the back? Uh, oh, Randy. I moved it away. Because you were messing around with the Canadian beaver. You just wanted to help. Okay, okay. First of all, at least we're humans. Second of all, you're a cartoon. And third of all, you're not Canadian. So, I came to warn you. There's, there's fighting going around here. Look up in the sky. <laughs> Oh my god, what happened? Okay, I blame Obama for all this. Just saying. Why would you blame me? First of all, the only reason... The only reason why you're here is because that Wilbur Franks built your G-suit. Without it, you know that green plane? Yeah, that would have just been destroyed and we both would have been... And then they would have won. Uh, and what I mean them, him, I mean... Him, him. They, it was destroyed. And I have some information too for you, Obama. Okay, okay, you... Uh, what? Well, without Wilbur Franks, like he said, you wouldn't have your G-suit. You wouldn't have combats. You wouldn't have proper words. You would have lost a long time ago. Okay, okay, fine. Get up peacefully, all right. And that's all about Wilbur Franks. And his G-suit. Uh, okay, okay. Who is the person who changes these backdrops, okay? I'm getting, like, really... Hey. Again? Again? Hi! Ah. Oh. Hi, Beaver. Um, he did kind of help around here, you know. Um, Obama, you do realize that the beaver's Canadian and we're all Canadian? I think except you. for, yeah. Yeah, I think I should get out now. Die! Dang, he ran away. Oh, well, that's it for today, folks. Yeah, and by the way, respect everyone, even if they annoy you. Yeah, like me. Um, yeah, I don't want to respect, no, I know respecting is a good thing, but die!